Assalamu alaikum. In the previous presentation number six on the surgical knots, we've been through uh, several aspects of the surgical knots, including its structure, how it's being built up, the building blocks of the surgical knot, various types, and the modifications required in certain situations. In today's presentation, we'll focus on how you can end up uh, having a faulty surgical knot and uh, the technique to avoid this. The basic unit of the surgical uh, knot is the half reef knot. Uh, this is formed by twisting uh, one end of the suture strand, the black end in this case, uh, around the other end of the strand, the white in this uh, case. So by just looping the um, one end over the other, either clockwise, like in this case, or anti-clockwise, it doesn't really matter. But what, what you need to do is form a loop of, uh, of one end of the suture strand around the other. And if uh, once this is formed, this open loop would need to be secured by having another uh, number of half reef knots, at least another half reef knot. A half reef knot is the building block of all surgical knots, but it is the full reef knot that is the simplest form of a secure surgical knot. It's called a square knot, and it's a secure knot because what you've done with the uh, what you do with the reef knot is that you form um, two half reef knots on top of each other, each forming a loop with one end of the. Um, of the strands. So you have a black loop and a, a white open loop and these two uh, open loops interlock in such a way as to get the um, colors, the end, the white ends uh, from uh, together on one side of the black loop and the black ends coming out from the other side of the white loop. And if you don't get them, if you don't get the two white ends on the same side of the, uh, the black loop or vice versa, then you get a faulty knot rather than a secure knot. It's secure because you have these two, two open uh, loops interlocking, and if you apply tension on the two ends of the suture strand, the interlocking increases the security of the knot. And if you watch what is going to happen here, we're trying to form the first half reef knot by twisting the white strand on the black. Now, if you continue in the same direction without crossing the hand, then this is what you end up with, forming a black loop with white ends coming one above and one below and vice versa. So you discard this and you try and do it the square knot way and you try this time to get the white loop coming above the black the white end coming above the black loop so now you have two and the two white ends coming above the uh, the black loop and vice versa uh, so you have now two loops one white and one black and they are interlocking and if you apply tension uh, it just increases the security of the knot So basically, it is the failure to reverse the direction while tying that produces the granny knot, the faulty knot. Um, if you continue to tie in the same direction, as I'll demonstrate in a second, then you end up having uh, the ends, the white ends coming on different sides of the uh, black loop and vice versa. And this is not secure. This is not a secure uh, knot. I hope this is going to demonstrate it better. I've twisted uh, the white strand in the clockwise way. Now, if I continue to uh, do the same, just do it in a clockwise again direction and pull the black end, so I've not reversed direction, this, will, uh, so this knot is going to be a granny knot because I've done it either the, the two half reefs in the same direction, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. And as you can see, one uh, white strand is above and one is below the black loop, so that's not good. Uh, the way to 
do get a square knot is to reverse the hand so if you are going to uh, work clockwise to form the first half a reef then you do an anti-clockwise to form the second half reef so that's a clockwise one and we got the um the first half reef knot and now rather than doing it in the same direction we we'll reverse it and this time it's going to be a secure uh, square knot and you, you can tell now that the two white ends are coming below the uh, black loop and vice versa so you have two open loops uh, both of them can interlock the black loop and the white loop can interlock and provide some security for the knot now if extra security is is required uh, because you are using a monofilament synthetic material you can have any number of twisting of the uh, of the strands the two ends of the strands and to form uh, any number of any number required of half reef knots and in this case we are going to uh, twist the pink over the violet twice uh, so that the first half reef reef knot is formed of two uh, throws rather than just one and then we're going to reverse direction and get the two pink strands above the violet loop and vice versa and now we can have a third half reef knot uh, again by reversing the direction and still we have the two violet ends coming below the pink loop and, and you can have four five or any number required from uh, to secure your knot so in the square knot the uh, two ends of the uh, suture wrap around each other uh, once to form the first half reef and, and another time to form the second half reef in the surgical uh, knot in the surgeon's knot you have a double uh, wrapping on the first half reef and then uh, you just have a single wrapping afterwards and this is to demonstrate it on using an instrument we, we've wrapped the uh, wise twice over the black strand and now you reverse direction rather than working above you work below and you form the second half reef not with the white ends coming up on the same side of the black loop and the black ends coming out above the white loop so it's a secure knot uh, with the first half reef double wrapped and the second half reef just a single wrapping that's a surgeon's knot by this we come to the end of this presentation i try to stress the importance of reversing direction while forming the second uh, half reef not so, so as to obtain a secure rather than a faulty knot. Salam alaikum.